<laughs> Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to install San Andreas Multiplayer. If you don't know what it is, it basically lets you play San Andreas with friends or just random people. Um, there's lots of different servers like Cops and Robbers, which is one of my favourites, Racing, Drifting, Stunts. Um, yeah, and if you get really talented, you can make your own server. I have yet to um, make one because I just can't get round to doing it with all work and stuff. Okay, first off, you're going to want to install GTA San Andreas like you uh, normally would. Nothing different, just install it, disk in. Um, if you've hacked it, you know, what well, if you've downloaded it, then download, put it to a disk, etc. But I got the actual disk. So, yeah, I'm not encouraging you to do anything, but just it's better getting the disk. Right. Once you've installed GTA San Andreas, you don't have to play the game or out. You don't have to configure any settings or anything. But what you could do is, well, after you've done that, sorry, uh, after you've done that, go to uh, your favorite web browser. Mine's Firefox, obviously. And in Google, well, let me get to the top of Google. It makes it easier for you. In Google, what you want to type, well, you can use Google or you can use the search top. You can in here you can search S A M P or just SAMP, but I'm just going to do it at the top of it in case you prefer that. So it's S A M P dot com, not dot uk because that comes up with a fan site. So S A M P dot com. Um, just ignore the capitals. I just prefer it like that. Okay, it'll bring you to the San Andreas multiplayer website. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of servers. Anyway, uh, goes to the downloads page or read this if you like reading. <laughs> I'm going to click on the download page, it's the same thing. Okay, uh, the latest at the moment is Sandra's Multiplayer 0.3a um, for. DVD game. It must you must have uh, version one. If you don't have version one, you have version two or something else. Um, use a third per party patch, which I've already downloaded. But when you click it, it's a zip file. Um, basically, what it does it downgrades the version to make it think it's one. But your disk will still work. Don't worry. Um, if you don't know if your um, disc, is, well, you don't, if you don't know your version is what your version is, I'd try it anyway. And if it says it's nothing to downgrade, then it's version one. Um, well, just download that, and I think I have it in my document somewhere. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, sorry. Um, Sandra's. There we go. That's what it'll be once you've uh, opened it up and stuff. Just, I'll just talk, talk you through it. Blah blah. blah. Uh, it'll get it'll get rid of limits set by Rockstar. Um, it works on USA 101, USA 2, European 101, European 2, German 101, and German 1. I have um, European 2. And mine downgraded to 1 because of this. Just tell it where. Um, your file as it should um, already be there and if you've already got one it should be nothing to do files are already updated if it's 2.0 or something then you're gonna have to do it anyway after you've done that um, see here any of these will work any of these two clients they're just different mirrors uh, so click the first one what I did and then install it etc and you should, well you shouldn't find it on your desktop, I'm not sure, but in your programs it will be uh, San Andreas Multiplayer, not, should be near Rockstar Games, it is for me and I just copied it to my desktop I'm just going to show you now the basic interface okay, when you first get it, this box will be blank you won't have these two here, this, these are just some I've added to my favourites okay, here it says name so what you're going to do is type a username that you wish to, oh, and it will work on any, any server. Okay, that's my username. Okay, you can see these are your favourites. So you can add 
servers to your favourites so it's easy to access. Hosted, uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think that's just the same as internet. Um, basically, when you click one of the tabs, all the servers will come up that are online. And just to show, help you, um, make click that box. You don't have to make, you don't have to, but if you click it, um, it'll get rid of all the ones that are full. And if you if you want to play with people, then remove the one that says are empty. And if you don't want them to have a password and you can't get in, then remove those ones, and it'll be easier to navigate through the ones because there'll be always a person in them and stuff. Okay, so. So if you want to search for a specific server, specific server, sorry, uh, go into this box where it says mode, and in, the, in this box here, type in what if you want, I'm just going to search cops, because I want cops and robbers, um, it goes Los Santos roleplay, that, that's one of the ones I've added to my favourites, and, well, I did, and to add a server to your favourites, click on it, Let's just say, okay, um, here we go, let's click that one, and down here it says address, right, so what you want to do is copy that, Control C or right click and copy, and then go to favourites, and click this thing here, and it should already be in there, but you, just to make sure you can press Control V or paste, or whichever way you like doing it. And then it'll add it to your favourites if you press OK, but I don't want to. Um, you must have your CD in to make this uh, some days multiplayer work. Um, so to run a server, just click on this again. Click on this, and then there's the green button here. You click that, and a disk icon will come up saying it's loading your disk. And in a few minutes you'll be running away. If you have some problems with lag, even though you've got a really good graphics card or something, uh, I'm sure, on, I think it's on the options menu on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, there's the, um, ad go on to options, um, I think it's graphics settings, I'm not sure, and uh, click on the, uh, sorry, click on the advanced uh, section, and then um, this sh you should be able to like make it widescreen, um, lower the quality. I've put it on low and it still looks pretty good, um, and it runs perfectly fine. No lag. If there is a bit of lag and you've got like the best graphics card in the card in the world, uh, don't worry. It's n nothing's messing up. It's just the servers are a bit laggy when loads of people are crowded in the same area or loads of cars and stuff. Um, you, there may be a glitch with this. I've, experienced once before but that was like version 2 of SAMP, 0 0.2 of SAMP when you click it loads of error boxes come down the screen but don't worry it's nothing bad <coughs> nothing bad sorry um, so basically you'll have that um, thanks for watching please rate comment uh, I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe I just if you like my videos then subscribe uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later